All right, so real quick, because um, I figured uh, now is a good opportunity to talk about this. Um, so it is currently 18 degrees and um, Boston seems like it's in um, a total panic. Um, it's gonna get pretty cold uh, later today and tonight. Um, 18 degrees I don't consider an emergency of any sort, but um, we'll see. I, I've seen temperatures like negative 24 being thrown out there for like midnight tonight. Um, negative 24 is pretty cold. I used to work in a freezer uh, when I was around 18, 19. And uh, that freezer was negative 32 degrees. And um, all I can say about negative 32 degrees is at that point, if you spit, um, consider the spit freezing before it hits the ground. Um, your eyes um, definitely start to freeze over if they're exposed too long and you're not blinking. And um, yeah, so negative 32 is pretty cold. Um, so anywho, um, Obviously, when it's getting pretty cold, you um, you want to be prepared because you know it's if you don't have you know the right clothing and attire, um, you know that's not going to do you any good. You know because the stuff you know as New Englanders, we should be prepared. Um, the first thing that you got to think about when you're dealing with the cold is I don't think we usually put a lot of thought into the material our clothing is made of. Um, but when it comes to the cold, uh, you definitely have to consider the material. Uh, there is a saying um, in the hunting community, and I think in um, maybe really colder climates, such as um, Canada, Alaska, um, you know, parts of the Rockies, um, surprisingly enough, I don't hear this terminology too much in New England, and I feel like I should, but um, there's the saying, uh, cotton kills. Uh, most of our clothing is made of cotton, and it is not very good uh, cold weather material. Um, the thermal properties of it just aren't very great, <clears throat> and um, it can actually make things, you know, a lot worse for you if you're out in the cold. So our shirts are made of cotton, our jeans are made of cotton. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, cotton isn't a very good material. Um, polyester, um, also, it's, um, it's basically a synthetic, um, you know, man-made. And, um, that's also not too great of an option. Um, you know, that, that's used mostly for outer layers because the good thing about polyester is it's, um, highly weatherproof. Um, so obviously anything that's waterproof, you know, that that's going to be, um, you know, polyester, generally speaking. Um, and, uh, you know, the downside to polyester is, um, it is not what you would consider antimicrobial. So, you know, it really is subject to odors and bacteria growth so you know it's not something you really want close to your skin um, I don't know if anyone has noticed but a lot of gym workout clothing is made of polyester and um, you know the really the, the big reason it's subject to such like strong odor at the gym is because of that reason it's not antimicrobial um, whereas things like wool and uh, cotton is actually antimicrobial. Um, you know, those are actually originating basically, you know, from plants or animals, and, um, you know, wool is inherently antimicrobial. Um, <clears throat> these gloves are wool. Um, but anyway, so wool is um, <clears throat> probably the single best material um, that can be used in uh, cold weather clothing. Um, it's very warm. These gloves are wool, um, but the downside to wool is they are definitely not great uh, in like harsh weather, like 
rain, uh, you know, water can really affect it a lot, um, kind of degrade the quality of it. <clears throat> um, so um, there is a good alternative, um, you know, for a material, uh, it's called merino wool, and um, it's kind of like a wool hybrid. Um, you know, I think it holds up a little better long term. Um, so that's, you know, pretty worthwhile material, uh, usually good for like a base layer. Um, so in the cold, you know, you, you definitely want to be thinking layers. Um, and you also want to consider uh, ventilation because you, um, you know, if you cause yourself to sweat, that's going to make your situation a lot worse. So to kind of help prevent sweating, you know, you, you kind of want to one dress in layers you also want to dress a little looser. Um, you're better off being a size too big than a size too small. Because a size too small, um, you know, it's just going to be a lot more tighter circulation and ventilation wise. Might cause you to sweat and then you're going to end up worse off. So like with boots, you know, you're better off being like a size too big. Um, you know, wear a base layer. Your outer layer, you know, you, again, I wear an XL, you know, uh, better to be a size up than size too small. Um, so in the coldest of weather, you know, you definitely want to wear like a merino wool, you know, base layer. Um, and then maybe a plain old clothing, you know, if you're just out and about, jeans should be fine. Um, even better if you have like the base layer on. Um, you know, boots aren't a bad idea even like on the larger side um you know i feel like uh work boots aren't great but you know um the old like outdoor boot hiking boot or um you know i, I actually have ordered uh snow boots from out in the rockies those are specifically designed for cold weather um you know, hat and gloves. <clears throat> um, again, these are wool. I prefer the fingerless because it helps with uh, ventilation, prevents me from sweating. If I wear the full on, uh, you know, full gloves, um, actually just makes my hands sweat because there's no circulation in there and then it gets cold and then it eliminates the point. So uh, fingerless gloves work great for me. Um, and then, you know, I always have like kind of like a polyester uh, outer layer you know, just uh, on the outside. And again, I go big on my jacket because, um, you know, that just helps, you know, with the breathability and prevents me from sweating. Um, and in the worst of the cold weather, um, you know, one of the single best things you can do is uh, just invest in a good pair of overalls. Um, I do a lot of hunting, so I have, um, you know, cold weather uh, camo overall. Uh, that I had purchased years ago, you know, they run over a hundred dollars, but they're worth the investment because you're going to be wearing it for years. Um, if you ski, you'll have overalls, um, and that's obviously going to retain like a lot of heat. So in the absolute coldest weather, you know, under, you know, when you're in the negatives, you know, that's going to be a great plan. Um, I don't think you care what you look like, you know, when you're just trying to be safe and it's really cold out. Um, but, um, put it this way, I, you know, when I worked in the freezer at negative 32 degrees, we just had these big heavy duty overalls, couldn't even enter the freezer without them. And, uh, when I'm hunting, uh, you know, I've camped basically overnight, you know, in like really, really cold weather, you know, during hunting trips. And, you know, I basically just wore my overalls at that point and never took them off, you know, uh, basically went for a weekend, you know, in the winter at one point. And, um, you know, at that point you're just living in the overalls and, you know, that's going to protect you from the elements. And, um, yeah, so, um, you know, that's what it's like to live in a cold climate. Um, you know, it's definitely good to have a heads up, you know, that it's going to be cold. I don't think it's any reason to panic like I've seen, uh, happening. I mean, it's 18 degrees. I mean, this is New England it's really not a big deal. As New Englanders, we should be prepared in advance, not waiting until, you know, something like this happens 
to be like, oh, you know, I just have all normal clothes. I don't have a jacket. I don't have a hat and gloves. Like, again, this is New England. Uh, we should be investing in all of this. And you'll get your best prices off season. Um, you know, towards the end of the winter, you know, all the stores are going to be selling everything probably at a discount to clear the shelves. Um, so um, if you don't have any of these vital um, items in your personal collection of um, belongings, you know, definitely get right on that because um, it's going to be cold and you need this stuff. So any questions, um, reach out to me and I'll uh, try my best to, to answer.